All right, so first thing we're going to do to dial this machine in to make sure we're getting the appropriate amount of product out and not too much product is we are going to turn the machine on and we're going to rotate that knob from zero to the left just a little bit and as we turn it slowly more product will come out. Now if we turn it too far with our hand about 18 inches away our hand will actually start to get wet. We do not want that. We just want it to be misting up until the wet point. So a wet hand is too much. We want to back it off. All right, what we're going to do today is uh, give a demo on the application of the interior protection package microbial barrier. And there's a two-part system, which is known as A and B. Install the disinfectant part A, which goes into the fogger, and this will kill all the existing germs and bacteria that are in there and set a platform for a clean environment to introduce the step B part, which is the fabric protector and bonding agent that will solidify the part A for a permanent five years. So what we're gonna do is set the cabinet up appropriately by opening all the doors, as you see, refrigerator, microwave, oven, and so forth as well. And all shades and so forth should be down to cover the windows. The product is an active chemical and it will seek all the areas that we've created an airspace for. So the windows will actually have product covering it without having to spray it on there in, in a vapor form. With the ventilation system running, it will circulate throughout the cabin. So I'm going to install the part A right now. Outside and we'll shoot the existing door frame and back side of the door, which will prevent mold and mildew from building up on the interior door frame. We also treat any existing cook shelves or storage facilities on the exterior as well to prevent mold and mildew and germ infestation. Now we're going to apply the B product, which is the bonding agent, right behind the A product to seal it in on a more permanent basis. There's no dry time between the two. You can go right to it as soon as you're done on the outside with installing the storage areas. processes circulating on the inside. Let the cabin run, uh, interior run for about 10 minutes minimum and then go in and shut it down. Close all cabinets, check for overspray. Exterior shield can be applied in several different manners. For touch-up work and front, front caps on these units, this is just spraying it straight out of the spray bottle. Simple spray on and wipe off the application.
this is an immediate smoothness, slickness to the surface versus what you didn't apply it to. And this product will stay on there guaranteed for five years. It's safe on all exterior components like rubber, plastics, and APS and so forth. Um, we're going to show you a faster way of applying this through the fogger spray on method. When using this spray on process through the fogger, the, the reduction rate is four parts water to one, one bottle of product. So you take the existing bottle and dump it into the tank. Then add four bottles of lukewarm water. Agitate it a little bit. This will be more than enough product to do a 30 to 40 foot unit in the spray on process. Always apply a moderate amount of water to the clean surface first. So I'm going to machine vent open wide. Take a, a slightly wet microfiber cloth similar to this called a noodle fiber on a pole. And basically just spread the product out, letting the air get in it, which causes it to do it. its chemical reaction, which is to sink the pigment on the foundation of the pole. Protects from the bottom up to the surface. This allows it a little bit of time to do its chemical good to let this dry for two to four minutes depending upon the temperature in the room to allow it to, to do its chemical process. While you're doing that, while doing a site that has windows, you want to take a, a small squeegee and squeegee the glass off. To get the excess off because the glass is not porous and the product will dry hard on there a lot quicker and be a lot more difficult to get off. After the product is set for two to four minutes, you want to take and wipe the excess with the microfiber. And in essence, it's going to push itself down into the pigment like you're applying product instead of squeegeeing water off in long strokes. cloth over, go back over and take any of the haze off. And it dries to a much nicer shine and feel. A simple test process to show the difference between the eco treated surface and a nano or wax treated surface is a simple drag test with full pressure with your hand. And pressing really hard with the fingertips we get this. Pressing hard on the eco cleaner side, no squeak. Now, when preventive maintenance on these machines is very simple to do. The end of a business day or the end of the week with your product A and B machines, you can take, unscrew the bottom existing product and dump it. Looks out the tank. A little warm water. And 
and run the machine for about 30 seconds.